Hello again to another Blender tutorial with 5 Minute Guide. I am Kyle, your host, and today we're going to talk about quick keys. So let's jump right into this. We're in object mode right now. Uh, we are going to hit A, and that will deselect everything. Okay? Uh, we can zoom out here a little too much. And if we hit A, you know, so select everything. Okay? Um, that's the same thing if we hit tab, which is. Uh, switches between edit mode and object mode. Um, this is where we can actually edit objects and change them in the edit mode. Um, actually manipulate vertices and manipulate faces and everything else. Um, if we hit A in here, it'll just select the vertices of that object that you have selected. Um, in the object mode, uh, like say uh, we were to have two boxes here, um, that's actually another a quick key right there is um, shift D um, That will duplicate an object. So if you have one selected you hit shift D it'll automatically Duplicate another object for you um, So if we have multiple objects here um, as you notice I can uh, With my mouse I can right-click to select these objects um, And then if you hit tab you'll go into an edit mode for the object that is selected um, also, um, since we have multiple objects here, let's um, group a couple of these objects or parent them so that when you move one of these objects, the, um, the other object will move with it. So first we'll select um, an object and then we'll select a secondary object. Now the second one that is uh, selected, or the last one I should say, because you can select multiple, you can select up to three, or actually you can select up to however many you want, but you can select a bunch of them. And the last one that you select, when you hit Control and P, um, you can select them to different things. Uh, we're just going to go to the object. Now, when you take this object and you move it, the others will move with them. However, if you select the other objects, you can move them independently and alter them. And then when you come back to this object, it'll move it again with it. Um, so it's really good for game physics and um, for some animation stuff that you might want to do. Uh, so there is that. Uh, also, if we are in the object mode um, and you want to hit I for keyframes, we can lock our you know rotation, scaling, you know whatever type type of manipulation you want to do. Um, I is where you want to set your keyframes for that, um, and that'll be in your you know keyframe editor or whatever down here. So. Um, we'll get into that more later, but that's a, a quick key for that is I uh, for your keyframe editor. Um, also, um, U. So if we're in edit mode, so we'll select on this object and you hit U, um, it'll go to a, a UV mapping uh, menu screen. So this is where you can actually apply images to your meshes. So if you have a picture of a you know, dog or a carpet or whatever you want, um, you can basically wrap it around this object. Um, and you can unwrap it in multiple different ways. And we'll get more into this later, but I'm just showing you the, the quick key for it is U. Um, and it only works in, um, in the edit mode. Um, U in the object mode is, um, you know, make single user. So that's, that's something else entirely. Um, so also let's go to um, let's go to the edit mode real quick. So tab, and we can go control click. Like say if we want to select two vertices, that's control click. And actually, this is selecting pretty much all the vertices in a path to it. Um, if we want just another vertice, let's see if we can get here. Um, hit shift and click and it's it's all right clicks um, there's actually there are some things with the left click but actually a lot of things in this are right clicks so if you want to select two individual vertices you can do um, shift and then right click if you want to select everything within that pathway to get there then it's control and click um, it's helpful when you have like multiple vertices in a row um, 
if you're making a wall and you have it, you know, really complex and, and whatnot and a lot of little bends and whatnot, you can or you can select all the vertices all in just like a couple of clicks instead of having to go through each individual one. So that's a nice little a nice little helper there. Um, so that's uh, that's basically everything I have for, you know, quick keys and some quick editing tips and whatnot. Um, so yeah, if this is uh, if this has helped you at all, um, then subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave it in the comment area below. So thanks again. This is Kyle with uh, 5-Minute Guide.